Juju Lewis has been committed to USC since August, um, but his recruitment has never been busier. Um, Georgia continues to come after him very hard. He's been intrigued by Alabama and the offense that Kalen DeBoer is going to run there and what they're going to do in that in, in Tuscaloosa. Um, Auburn and Colorado are two options. Uh, maybe for early playing time, there's definitely interest and intrigue around Coach Prime, but also around uh, Hugh Freeze having more of a hands-on approach with that offense and what he's done with quarterbacks in the past. The opportunity at Auburn and in Boulder is very intriguing. But he's just off of another visit to USC where he and his father sat down with Lincoln Riley. They went over plays. There was a lot of excitement about how the offense would be sort of tailored around him instead of he being tailored around the offense. You know, Lincoln Riley has done a phenomenal job with quarterbacks. Um, he's put Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, and um, Caleb Williams now is basically the number one picks in the NFL draft, all Heisman winners. I mean, there's a lot to really like about that. There are some people in Georgia who think at some point he will flip to Georgia. I've gotten the sense that maybe Alabama intrigues him more than some people would like to admit. Auburn and Colorado seem like outliers at this point. If I had to guess right now, he sticks with USC. The opportunity to play for Lincoln Riley, the NIL pitch from Georgia will be compelling. Um, but as a source told me, there are no more compelling NIL pitches than what can be attained in Los Angeles. So there are definitely still a, a long way to go here. There will be another round of visits um, of officials. But I also get the sense that the five star, while wanting to stay in the limelight, does kind of want to shut it down and get things over with. So right now, I think USC still leads. <clears throat> I think Georgia and Alabama are, are very much in the picture here.